the, the niche that I love working in is this intersection of finance and nonprofit work because we're bringing the best from the business sector uh, to a highly underperforming sector, which is the nonprofit world. When I joined UBS about seven years ago, um, I walked in and, you know, I was ready to conquer the world. <laughs> you know, I thought this is a great opportunity, go where the money is, there's so much we can do. This has huge potential. Uh, and to be honest, when I got there, I thought, oh my God, I made a terrible mistake. When I met with the chairman, um, I asked him what his aspirations were for the foundation, and he said, I want you to take it to the next level. Um, so I recommended four things that we should change. The first one was the board. Uh, the second one was the operations. The third one were the programs. And the fourth one was the staff. I think the most important thing about leading a team is that um, you enable them to perform. And we know that the highest performing teams are generally people who are satisfied in their work. How are people satisfied in their work? The, the two most important things are that they have a sense of purpose and that they feel empowered to make decisions. Having a sense of values and belief in being really intentional about them I think is critical. UBS has core values which include integrity, collaboration, and challenge. And we think about those every day. And um, integrity is key, is, is key to what we do. You know, it's, it's the things that you do when nobody is watching. And those things matter, and, and we all sense them. And if we sense that somebody doesn't have it, we don't, we don't buy into what they're doing. You know, we're, we care about social justice. And we can't fake that. And if, on the one hand, we're selling social justice, and on the other hand, we're not living social justice. Uh, no one, no one's going to believe it. So that is that's key. We also need to work together, and it's not just within the two, three teams: operations, fundraising, and programs. But it's also within UBS overall. Um, every year, UBS hosts a conference in San Moritz. It's called the Global Philanthropy Conference, and I met. Safina Hussein, who runs Educate Girls. And she told me about this new thing called the Development Impact Bond. And she explained it to me and I was so excited. I thought, wow, this addresses some critical issues that we're seeing in the sector. Number one is there's no transparency about what works. We have no idea. Number two, you get a lot of people who come again, they're coming from the best place with a lot of money and everybody thinks they have the right answer without going into the communities in which they, they want to work and asking the organizations working on the ground and the people working on the ground, hey, what's the best way to improve children's lives here? What's the best way to improve learning outcomes in a small village in Rajasthan? I have no idea. I've been to India dozens of times. I have no idea how to improve the lives of children. So the, the DIV addressed these issues of giving the power and the authority to the organization who knows the community best, allowing people who want to invest in these things a real incentive, and allowing organizations who don't really want to take a lot of risk and who insist on doing years and years of due diligence before they'll fund anything because um, they, they want to make sure they're funding something that's going to work. It's, it gives them the opportunity to not have to do that. The, the thing about a DIB is that it requires an extremely different cultural and, um, cultural and mindset shift. It requires a nonprofit organization to be extremely performance-based. This is not typical. 
you know, if you ask any nonprofit at the end of the day, how'd you do today? They would say, what do you mean? You know, how did I do today? You ask any business that, and they, every day, they should be able to tell you my net profit today was X, and my costs today were Y. And, you know, you just, we don't have that in the nonprofit sector. So you need a really progressive nonprofit that is, um, has the ability to care about that and um, has the actually systems in place. I think the most important thing I have learned is that this has been about the people. Uh, it's been about the process and most importantly, it's been about the purpose. All Everybody working together has to be striving for the exact same purpose and whether it's a broad purpose like social justice or whether it's a more narrow purpose like improving the language skills of girls in Rajasthan. We all need to know what that is and make sure that we are always focused on that.